Hey, what's up guys? Spears here, and welcome back to another episode of City Car Driver. Um, I thought I messed up that, that game title name for a second. <laughs> I didn't even think about what I was saying, honestly. I was like, what? Because normally I'm like, oh, GTA 5. No. No, City Car Driving. Um, this is an Audi R8, as you guys could probably tell. Um, you know what? Never mind. Outside might be better. Look at me. What a handsome devil with my, uh, my Argyle shirt. Um, looking all pretty. Look at the headlights in this. It looks so good. Um, but yeah, this is a, an Audi R8. Um... I, you know, I'm a huge fan of Audi R8s so just because, like, I, I can appreciate, like, the build quality and, like, the, the styling of it. Like, it looks like a badass turtle is what it looks like. Like, I love Audi R8s. They look so sweet. Um, there's a few of them actually around Halifax where I live. And, um, I think there's a 2017 as well, which is crazy. Like, who the, who's got, like, a million dollars to buy a 20... I'm just kidding. These are, like, $300,000, I think. Well, for a 2017, I'm not sure how much. Anyways, um... Yeah, this is this is an R, uh, R8. I was gonna say Audi RS because you see that right there. So where it says R8, I read that as RS. Cause I'm stupid. I didn't know this track existed though. Jesus Christ, this camera's fucking ridiculous. Uh, hit that like button for a camera. Um, I didn't know this track existed or this this thing in general existed. So we're gonna uh, put my brake on, go into drive, and we're gonna do some defensive driving for you guys today. Now, what you want to do with an Audi R8 is. You want to understeer and into the oversteer. Now it's all-wheel drive. Um, you can get the the real-wheel drive version, but I say that was a pretty flawless test of the Audi R8's ability. <laughs> you guys might not believe me, but I was trying. I was trying really fucking hard there to do that, and I just couldn't. So we'll, we'll try it again here. Um, actually, trying harder. Oh my god. Um, you can get a you can get real-wheel drive versions of the Audi R8. But, um, I think most people get, uh, all-wheel drive. Uh, you could probably modify it if, if not. Anyways, um, it's a pretty sick car. Uh, I think it's only a 4.5 liter V8 or a 4.3 liter V8. Um, which is cool, you know. The, the Mustang, the Coyote engine, has a, uh, is, is a 5 liter. And, um, the SRT Hemi, um, is a 6.4. Or the, uh, the Hellcat's a 6.2. Which is kind of crazy. Because this, this thing makes good horsepower. This 5... 4.5 liter, I think. I'm not sure how big it is. It says it on the main title, um, and I've known about the engine size for a while, but it's not about the size of the engine. It's how you use it. We're gonna try and do a quick uh, zero to sixty here. So get your timers ready, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna count in my head, and uh, we're gonna go in three, two, one. What? Uh oh, I hit W instead. Okay. Um, sorry. In three, two, one, go. All right, um, starting out pretty slow, starting, oh, there we go, a little faster, I'm actually in the seat. Uh, that was probably about four seconds, I'd say. I got about four seconds, what'd you guys get? So I got 900 seconds, like, what? Um, anyways, a uh, little story here. Uh, now, the province, new destination, points received, nice. Um, the province I live in, or the state, whichever you'd like to call it, um, <clears throat> they have a thing where you have uh, an N on your license, and that N basically means, like, you can't drive past midnight and other certain things like that. Um, and I didn't do driver's ed. And I've been driving for seven years now. Um, something like that. And I didn't do driver's ed. And um, I didn't get the end off my license. Um, and normally it would just take two years and the end would come off your license. But uh, they changed it so you have to do like a defensive driving course. And uh, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, fucking poles, man. God damn. Um, and that course costs $500 and it's like a weekend thing. And it's like that, that driving course back there. It's like a slalom and... A solemn, a slalom, a sol It's a course. It's a course that you like turn, and you're like, oh, I got a break, and you know, just avoiding stuff like that. And uh, I'm gonna do that course in my Hellcat someday, and I'm gonna record it, and it's gonna be funny because they're gonna be like, they'll be like kids that are like 16, 17, you know, 18. Like, I, why am I saying kids? Like, that's not kids. People, sorry, that are, um, yeah, I'm in the gamer complex. And, oh, the fucking kid, oh, dude, I'm like 40, what do you mean? Why are you calling me a kid? Oh, you fucked you, kid. The guys that are gonna be there, or the, the girls, anyways, they're, they're all gonna be young and, and have like Honda Civics and stuff like that, and Volkswagens, and I'm gonna be there like, yeah, uh, 707 horsepower, Hellcat, here to do the, the driver training real quick. God, can I, there we go, reverse. Sweet, I'm stuck. Can I, can I reset this? Oh, start again. Perfect, here we are. This is the starting area. Oh shit, it starts you in front of one. Look at that. Would you look at it? Oh shit. Oh, I want to do that, hold on. I want to do this one, right here. Um, so put my brake in, go in reverse. Let's try it out, boy. <laughs> God, this is a good looking car, especially in this color. I feel like Tony Stark up in this bitch. All right, I tried to do a run before I actually recorded it and uh, it didn't work out too well. I knocked over some pylons. Holy shit. All right, let's take the left side. Left side. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the understeer is so bad. Oh, shit. All right, I'm going back. 
I like how it shows you your breaking length, but it won't do like a zero to sixty for you because it doesn't want you breaking the law. Like this game is, this this game takes laws more seriously than real life. I think, but probably not. I'm just overreacting. No, it fucking does. No, I'm just. Kidding. Look at all the pylons I knocked over. I used to call these pine cones. I probably still do. When I'm not thinking about it, I probably still call them pine cones. Um, just like I used to say that that guy fingered me. Um, like if somebody like flipped me off, you know, gave me the finger, I used to say, "Hey, that guy fingered me when I was a kid." Um, think it, you know, looking back on it now, it's kind of like, what? That's not, that's not right. That's not how you say that, Keaton, you know? You, I've embarrassed myself a lot. I still do it to this day, but, you know, I'm recording it now, so it's funnier. Every time I fuck up, I almost just want to restart. Like, I just want to hit escape and restart. Like, I'd rather just do that than fucking, than have to go through the whole thing of like, okay, hold down the brake and then, you know, hit W and, and then S if you miss and then put it in reverse and then, like, you have to do all this stuff. You gotta hold the brake, go into drive. Actually, let's go into, th let's go into first. Just wind first out a little bit here. Let's see if we can blow the engine up. Look at that, we're going 49 miles an hour in first. That's pretty good. Second. I mean, you know, it's it's a half halfway manual. Third. Hey, that's pretty good. And then I'm gonna slow down a little bit here and almost blow the engine. And nice. See now like right here I just want to restart, but fuck it, I'm not going to. I'm gonna be a man. I'm gonna be a man. Alright, I want to try and drive out of this thing and see how far we can actually get- Oh fuck, driving out of it. There we go. Put it in drive. Alright, let's try and see if I can- I can get some more speed going here. I'm gonna use my boost, which is shift, if you guys didn't know. Um, is it shift? Yeah, it is shift, okay. Actually, no, it isn't. Is it? I can't remember which, which button it is. Alright, you ready? And go. It's shift, right? Yeah, it's shift. There we go. And, oh fuck, I wanted to go down that one. Fuck! I fucked up. Alright, uh, I got up to 62 miles an hour though, so that's pretty good. They wanted me to go to 20 and I got up to 62. I'm doing pretty good, honestly. This looks fucking odd. Why would anybody drive like this? This looks so weird. Oh my god. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Nice, yep. Definitely didn't shit the bed there or anything. Um, okay. Alright, I'm done fucking around. I wanna find the exit. Cause I'm not- I'm not a huge fan of this place anymore. Ooh, what are the, what are these over there? What is that? What is- Is that just, like, for scenery purposes? Or does that, does that do something? I think it's just scenery. Like, I don't think I can get in there. Do I have a horn? I do have a horn. But, they're not gonna let me in there. No, no way. There's, no way. There's nobody actually controlling that gate. It's just there. Like, look, this is here. You, I mean, you can't go there, but it's here. Um, you're driving in the opposite lane. No, I'm not. This is the right lane to be in, isn't it? Are we in Europe still? No, we're in America, right? Comply with the speed limit. Accessing the speed limit by five miles per hour. I've literally gone past the cop doing like 20 over the speed limit and he hasn't pulled me over. I've gotten pulled over doing 40 over the speed limit and I got a warning. Like, I didn't get a ticket. Um, I actually gave my business card to a couple cool cops that were down at like a car meet um, the other week, it was like a week ago, about a week ago, yeah, it was like a week ago, or two weeks ago now, and they were like, oh, you do YouTube, cool, so, you know, what's your channel, and then I gave them cards, um, I think I told you guys this, but, um, yeah, they're, they're really cool, they're like, oh, right, I'll check it out, one of them was like around my age, I think, um, and the other one was kind of older, uh, he knew my uncle, which is like a, pfft, it's like an inn right there, my uncle's a badass, he's like an eighth degree black belt in karate, he is, uh, He's scary. He's a scary dude. He has karambits, like actual karambits that he uses in karate. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, uh, my best friend, basically. You know, he, my uncle could beat up your uncle. Do you guys see that? This fucking hill, like, ate me. Like, the, the incline right here is like, and, like, ate the front of it. Look at that, it did it again. What the fuck are you, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck, mate? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lost it there a little bit. So, I'm not sure what the fuck the point of that is. I guess it's just the starting point, because... Yeah, like, so it's like, at the beginning of the game, you can like pick, it's like, where do you want to go? It's like, pick the area you want to go in. It's like, okay, and then you pick like this area, or, or you pick like a city, or you pick like the, um, the, the driving course. And I thought that I had to stay in that driving course. What's up, bitch? You're gonna die. You're dead. Wait, did he die? Yep, he's dead. I just ran over somebody in an Audi R8. Audi would not be very happy about that. They <laughs> That's why Audi, like, certain car companies, like, really go after games like this that use their cars, like Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that. Because they don't want, like, their cars being known as, like, a car that runs people over and kills people, like, in Grand Theft Auto and shit, like, Mustangs and all that. That's why, uh, GTA's never been able to use, like, actual vehicles. You know what I mean? Like, actual brands. So they just make off-brands. You know, it's like a, it's like a whole, f like, like a no-name brand, basically. <laughs> they, like, they take bits of, like, Mustangs and put them on cars and then build the rest. Or like a bit of like a, a certain minivan or something, or like a Toyota Corolla or a fucking Honda Civic or whatever. Subaru, Subaru.
But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I like I like making these and just messing around in this game. It's definitely a, a mess around game. Like it, you can't really take this game seriously. Uh, if I had a wheel and I could actually drift, it would make my my life a little bit easier. But I don't and I can't. So uh, you know, check and check on that one. Um, this feels like an app, like an app game. Like I feel like I should be tilting my my monitor. Oh, the turning radius. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you have a great day. And um, yeah, talk to you later. Alright, said it a million times now. Look, talk to you later. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Talk to you later.